What predators do is catch, subdue, kill, and then consume their victims as quickly as possible. Parasites do the exact opposite. A successful parasite will keep its victim alive as long as possible, slowly feeding off it. The Ascaris roundworm is no exception, and these things have had lots of opportunities to get inside me. I'm particularly thinking of the time I was in Cambodia, investigating the pincer-like bite of the pufferfish. I was in these debris-filled waters of the Mekong River in what was essentially a communal toilet, the perfect breeding ground for parasitic worms. Thinking about it, I have to say the likelihood of having Ascaris roundworms inside me has to be high considering my exposure. It's making me even more concerned about what my lab results will reveal. But there are some parasites that you don't need a microscope to see. On a previous investigation in the Amazon, I encountered a parasitic fish lurking beneath these waters, the candiru. It usually targets a big fish as its host, drinking blood from its gills. But there have been cases of mistaken identity, and that's what happened to this man, Silvio. He was relieving himself in the river when a kandiru swam up his penis. To get it out required an unprecedented medical procedure. The endoscope was put in the end of his, his penis into the urethra. Grabbed hold of the fish, just gradually, gradually, very delicately moved out. This is one parasite. If you've got it, you're absolutely going to know about it. I'd be in such pain, I would just be incapable of doing anything. So. I can safely cross the Kandiru off my list. Kandiru attacks are very rare, but there's another visible parasite you're much more likely to find hiding in your body. It's this botfly larva. There are flies that have developed this particular strategy in pretty much all of the tropical locations that I visited. To survive, a botfly larva needs a supply of nourishing blood, and a warm place to grow, which makes me, or you, the perfect incubator. The botfly begins its life as an egg, which is deposited onto a host. The larva hatches out and burrows into the skin, where it grows bigger and fatter. Although unsightly, the larva will usually leave its host unscathed. But I've been told about a woman nearby who has fallen victim to a botfly in an unusually horrifying way. And it's making me question whether I've made the mistake of overlooking a darker and deadlier side to this common parasite.